vos émissions préférées, elles sont toutes sur Radio Grand Lac. Your English Weekly. Your English Weekly. La chronique 100% en anglais de Radio Grand Lac avec Sinéad. Bonjour, bonjour chers auditeurs et bienvenue à Your English Weekly hein, sur le 92.1 FM, l'émission qui te présente le meilleur de la langue et de la culture et du divertissement en anglais. Je suis ton animatrice Sinead et je suis ravie d'être ici aujourd'hui avec vous et vous pouvez me trouver à Your English Workshop à, à Aix-les-Bains ou le revoir. N'oubliez pas, je profite de ce moment pour vous dire pour nos stages d'enfants, pour les primaires et les collèges qui vont se passer pour les vacances de février, les inscriptions sont ouvertes, regardez sur le site, vous aurez des infos. L'épisode aujourd'hui est de niveau B2, avec un contenu passionnant euh, qui n'est pas seulement améliorer vos capacités de l'écoute, mais aussi vont vous divertissez également tout au long de l'émission avec un conseil linguistique et à la fin et un pun at the beginning sur Your English Weekly. Vous pouvez réécouter cette émission sur YouTube. Good afternoon, or good morning, should I say, lovely listeners. Welcome to Your English Weekly. So this is the show that brings you the best of the English language between culture and entertainment. I'm your host, Sinead, and I'm delighted to be here with Tim on this bright and cold day. So, Tim... Yes. Tim's episode today. Tell us, Tim, what's your episode about today? Uh, it's on cold swimming. Okay, so we're going to talk about... Cold water swimming. Sorry. Cold water swimming and the trend. And I'll, if we have time, talk about the gold rush. Uh-huh, what is the gold rush? With lots of vocabulary that will improve your listening skills, keep you entertained... And, of course, with a little language tip at the end. You've got it all on your English Weekly, so don't miss out the fun. Tune in, turn up the volume, and see if you can understand the vocabulary and the talk. Hi, Tim. How are you today? I'm good, thank you, Sinead. And you? Oh, it is not too bad, huh? Cold day, but good, yes, good. Yes, but thanks. nice, yes. Yeah. Good to see the sun. So, cold swimming, is that what we're talking about <laughs> cold today? Cold water swimming, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, the lake is quite cold. We could jump into the yeah, lake. It's, 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 I'm not sure if it's my cup of tea, but yes. Oh. Uh, we, yeah, th- there are actually some uh, people that do go out in winter and swim in the lake. Okay. I know, I know some. I know so, some people yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So tell us, where did you find your article today about cold swimming? It was on cold. the. It was in the uh, English, an English article, the uh, vocab. Um, okay. No, go English. Go, go English. That go was English. Yes. Yes. Okay, and mine comes from vocab. So, listeners, if you want to have the articles, we will put them up on our website in. Uh, under your English Weekly at the top. Okay, so Tim, yes. tell us, what is our pun for today? Haha, uh-huh. well, it's a bicycle. Okay, so we're going to talk about a bicycle, yeah. Can't stand on its own. So it can't stand on its own. We know a bicycle cannot stand on its own. Because it's too tired. Because it's too Too tired. Okay, listeners. Ah, funny, funny. So, too tired, which means you've got tire, which is le pneu, et il est trop fatigué. Les pneus sont trop usés. It can't stand on its own. Okay. Ah, Good. Okay, good. Um, Okay, so tell us about cold... Cold water swimming and the vocab. vocab. Would you like me to run through yes, the vocab? Yes, please, okay. please. So, your first one, it, I'm going, is greeted by. Okay, so greeted by a caipa. Sleep disorders. Des troubles de sommeil. Acclimatize. A, same word in French, acclimatiser. Stunning. Superbe. Trend. Une tendance. Gorgeous. Magnifique. Brace yourself. Accrochez-vous, no? Yeah, brace, yeah, accrochez-vous. 
take a dip. Euh, piquer, piquer, euh, piquer une tête, c'est ça, oui, yes. piquer une tête. And submerged. But same in, in, in French, submerge. Submerge. Okay, so uh, I thought I'd like to share it because I've noticed the general trend on Instagram actually of people taking ice water baths as well. Well, you've seen my Facebook, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We do that every year at Christmas in Ireland. In Ireland, okay. Well, the, the, it mentions actually about. Um, being very popular in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, because with over 200 miles of stunning coastline and uh, they, the, the tourism office has taken on board um, this and noticed people are enjoying it and have invited people to explore Ireland. So, um, ah, yes, and I did explore the north of Ireland this winter during the Christmas holidays. Stunning place it is. Did you jump in? Well, mm, Tim, I'm not, it's not my cup of tea, as we could say. No, I didn't jump in. But my brother and my sister and my children jumped in. Wow. Mm. Okay. All very courageous. I think, yes, because uh, it mentions that um, in the article, uh, you should, you need to acclimatize yourself to it. Um, so that obviously means going into the water gradually step by step. You, I think throwing yourself in uh, <laughs> potentially could be quite dangerous as well because um, it does take you, literally take your breath away. I know. My brother wears a hat. He wears a cap on his head. Right. And he wears gloves and uh, gloves for his feet. Oh, okay. So his body is uncovered. He's, okay. But his extremities are all covered with gloves or with... Uh, and he's got shorts. He's wearing swimming shorts. Yeah, he yeah. wears swimming shorts, but he's got the gloves and the feet gloves and the hat. Right, okay. So what, what I read was the, the trend grew in popularity um, during COVID as a lot of swimming pools were closed. So people took advantage of lakes and coastline and rivers. And, um, and since then, obviously, it's growing. It is forever growing. Um, mm. But the health benefits are what attracts the people to it. Apparently, uh, yeah. So what are some of the health benefits? Well, from being submerged in cold water, um, you can take away your anxiety. Mm -hmm. Stay younger. Yeah. So you say younger, uh, it's help, apparently it helps people with sleep disorders. It also, uh, for women, don't forget, it takes away all the wrinkles of the face. You, you know wrinkles? Tim, what are wrinkles in French? Wrinkles in French, um, per... Des rides, des rides. Des rides. Des rides. yes, I do des know that word. Rides. Completely well. put me on the spot there. Uh, and then the lowers your blood pressure too. Which is good for... Well, it's good for, for, for stopping cardiovascular diseases, isn't it? Yeah, and you stay in a good mood as well, As well, and it puts you in a great mood for the rest of the day, so I think we should try it out. The English workshop mm, should try it I'm out. I'm not sure, <laughs> but Tim would be very happy to organise a group for the English workshop in English, won't you, Tim? <laughs> to go to England and swim in the no, coast. No, 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 uh, to go to the Lake <laughs> de Bourget okay. and swim... All in English, of course, Sam. Okay, and finally, there's a motto that I believe the Tourism Board says. is So, be brave, brace yourself, and take a dip in these cold waters. Mm. I know that it's very popular as well up in, um, no in the northern countries where they jump into the, into the ice or the cold or the snow. Yes. They roll around in it and then they... Poof, they hop back in, they yes. jump back into their house and into their sauna. Yes, that's true. In Scandinavia, they, it's mm. a very common thing to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, especially in the, in the winter when the mm -hmm. days are short, there's no sunlight. So it's a little bit of fun and entertainment with the, their friends. Yeah, yeah, interesting. So what mm. about you? You discovered something new. Well, what did I discover? I don't know. Have you ever heard of the gold rush? I have heard of the gold rush. Mm. It don't, isn't it? You find groups of people in, in the water with a big sieve or... Okay, well, the gold rush is la course vers l'or. So, for those listeners listening, it refers to a period of um, intense migration. It was actually during a moment of migration where people went to a region where 
other people had found gold or discovered gold. These people went, they were often called the 49ers with California, hoping to make a fortune through mining. Now, what is mining? Mm, mining in, in French. Oh, in French. Or in English. Explain mining. <laughs> Easier in English. Uh, it's uh, people digging for jewels, aren't they? Well, well people digging. So when yeah. you mine for something, you can mine for gold or you can mine for coal, etc. Mm -hmm. So, l'exploitation des mines. Uh, so they were prospecting and it happened a lot during the mid 19th century in various parts of the world. There was the California gold rush in 1848 to 1855, which was very well known. Mm -hmm. And these were um, people looking for to find luck in the gold fields. Gold fields, the champs de, but often facing very hard journeys and harsh weather conditions and conditions. Okay, so then we had the similar things occurred in other areas, like the Klondike Gold Rush. Where's that? In the Yukon Territory. Oh, okay. And that was during the same period, a little later actually, a little later than the Californian Gold Rush. Um, if I'm correct, around the 1890s, around there. Uh, now, I know we celebrated Klondike day in Canada it was very popular for us. The Australians um, in Victoria or New South Wales, they had their gold rush during the 1850s and um, a lot of wealth came to these cities economically and they developed, uh, even culturally they developed. Huh? Mm -hmm. But um, not everyone, you know, as you can imagine, found wealth. Sure. Now, what is wealth? Wealth is uh, to increase your earnings, yeah. have more money La to spend. Yeah, la exactement. La richesse. Huh? So not everyone found wealth uh, gold mining because you, because you don't always find gold. But there was rapid population growth in these regions and this is what allowed them uh, to lead to significant uh, populations etc but it's all very interesting to be honest but mm -hmm. you'd want to read the whole article so if listeners you're interested I will put the article on your English Weekly on the website www.yourenglishworkshop.com Okay, well, listeners, before I finish talking about the... Go well, before we finish talking myself and Tim, I hope you learned lots of new words. But remember my little tip of the day, practice regularly. Uh, I am convinced and know that consistency, practicing every day 10 minutes, a little bit will help you improve quicker and more deeply. So 10 minutes in the morning or afternoon with either a little bit of reading, a little bit of writing, a little bit of listening, because my motto is a little every day goes farther than doing all in one day. I'll repeat that again. A little every day goes farther than doing all in one day. So this is what I use for learning. And don't forget, listeners, you can find things from listening apps, etc. Anyway, I hope you learn more with myself and Tim between the cold swimming and the gold rush. Expanded your vocabulary. And of course, you can listen to this podcast on YouTube. You can join us again next week for... Uh, yes, no, no. Next week, we are not here in two weeks. Excuse me. You can join us again in two weeks for uh, Your English Weekly and, of course, with a new subject. So, thank you, Tim, for coming today. Thank you, uh, We will give you the perfect dose. And, of course, don't stay... Of course, stay with us today on 92.1. Parce qu'à 17h, il y a une heure, une commune avec la mode Sovelex. 
et à 19h30, oh, j'adore quand je dis ça, le 16 9e, la mission pour le cinéma, ils applaudissent tous parce que c'est vrai que j'ai du mal avec ça. Well, anyway, stay tuned for more broadcasting with Radio Grand Lac 92.1. And of course, uh, myself and Tim say goodbye to you. Bye to you from us at yeah. you. <laughs> English Weekly. Your English Weekly. La chronique 100% en anglais de Radio Grand Lac avec Sinéad. Radio Grand Lac, votre radio.